Hey, what's going on guys? Bacon here from Serpent X Special Forces and it's time for our monthly build video. I know I'm a little bit late, but technically I'm recording this for the month of April. It's just you will probably won't see it until May. My apologies on the delay. I've been really busy, but without further ado, let's move into it. Today's or this month's main driver for this mining rig is going to be the 1060, not the 1660, the 1060, but on Amazon and most major retailers, you won't be able to find these GPUs. So it is going to be a little bit of finesse and you being kind of a shrewd negotiator and trying to get your hands on these GPUs. Now we're using the 6 gig version and I know uh, with the Ethereum DAG file being so big, the 6 gigs eventually would no longer be able to mine Ethereum. However, that doesn't really matter because coming at the end of this year, you won't be able to mine it anyways, or at least in the middle of this year uh, with proof of stake. Uh, ETH 2.0 on the way, you're going to have to find a different project. And that's one of the things that I like about NVIDIA. NVIDIA is more vert versatile, can swap to different projects or more projects that are available to it than AMD. So if you can, you can actually find these GPUs anywhere between the 3 to 450 range. Now, just to average it out, I am calculating at $400 a pop, but it is going to take some investigative work and keeping an eye on third-party listings or excuse me listings from individuals like on eBay Facebook marketplace Craigslist uh, if you do meet up with anybody in person please 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 be careful do it in a public location don't meet somebody in a dark alley in a trench coat anyways here's the build the build list and everything's gonna be linked down in the description below uh, the Intel CPU pricing has gone absolutely crazy except for the 10th gen uh, CPUs which actually had a pretty decent sell but the motherboards for those are even more expensive so we went with the Intel Pentium Gold G5400 T uh, which used to be around 50 bucks is now 160 bucks but that's what we're going with we needed a cooler because this is gonna be a tray processor so we don't get a CPU cooler with it if you already have one you can save some money um, just a base cooler and then the motherboard that we're going with here is the MSI H310M Pro VDH. Uh, now, Adorama has it for 59, Amazon has it for 59. Um, if you can find it for cheaper elsewhere after you watch this video, good to go. Take note of the PCIe slots. We got one uh, by 16 and two by ones. Now, those two by ones, as I do and or mention in most of my monthly build videos, we're gonna have to split out. Not a problem. We got a splitter. Now, my buddy Brandon Coin has a very valid point when he talked about this in the past. Sometimes you can buy these low quality split splitters from vendors on Amazon. And even though Amazon is a reputable e-tailer, you may want to buy more than one of these. Um, in this case, for this build, we're going to need two. So maybe get three or four just in case. Um, because one of them may be DOA, dead on arrival. So just bear that in mind. Then for memory, we're just going with some crucial four gig. Um, we could technically go just, uh, you know, like a, a full full on kit, but save the money. No need to do it. Uh, I think there's a G skill kit around this. It's just the speed is a little bit lower. Uh, it, and, and also you got to take into account that depending on the motherboard, your this memory may not even be on the QVL list or supported. So I may not even be able to get 2666. It should. Uh, but just bear that in mind. But those speeds aren't really relevant to us when it comes to GPU mining. If we were overclocking, I would say get the, the best that you can. But two 4 gig sticks is going to be plenty of 8 gigs total. And then for the SSD, the tried and true, and I'm still running this on my main NVIDIA system, the SU635 from ADATA. It's a 240 gig SSD. As I mentioned in another video way back when, uh, as mining... Uh, kind of grows and the community grows what I noticed is is the uh, minimum hard drive size has increased before you could get away with it on a 120 gig but as you add all these mining hardware or mining software or, or update your miners awesome miner nice hash whatever you have when you start filling up that hard drive you run out of space so just go ahead and get 240 or above if you got a 500 laying around go for it uh, of course this is just a sample uh, GPU right so this is the MSI GTX 1066 gig uh, I did find this card on a number of different uh, individual sellers for around $400 389 369 whatever 
uh, but I just chalked it up to $2,400 uh, when we're calculating at $400. Now, last but not least is the power supply, and then we'll get into the last bit of accessories so I can get out of your hair here, is I found an 850-watt EVGA power supply. Now, this GPU, because you always want to calculate the, the main TDP, right? Yeah, we're going to be underclocking, undervolting, whatever, to try to get this GPU around 90 watts or less, hashing away as profitably as we can, but the max TDP is 120 watts. The good news is, is because it only has, well, most models only has either one eight pin or one six pin, uh, but some 1060 uh, might draw a little bit more power than that. We need to make sure that we have a good power supply. So 850 is adequate. And I wanna see here, uh, does it show? So it says the estimated wattage here on PC uh, part picker is 239 so basically 240 and then obviously as we get all more and more gpus because it's only got one gpu on here it's going to take up more and more uh but technically we have enough splitters that we can do uh to power all the various risers and gpus um i do want to say uh as i mentioned before one six pin connection even if you split it right take one six pin to two eight pin Bear in mind, uh, two, basically 226 watts, 222 watts, somewhere around there is the max that that six pin can even do. So yeah, technically with two 1060s at uh, 120 a pop, we're, we're kind of over that. Uh, but just bear in mind, you should be able to, to, to tune it um, and keep an eye on it. Just keep an eye on it. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys seen the Gamers Nexus video where they test the SATA to six pin uh, connections. And you know, some of them, you know, started melting and burning up and, and people reporting fires. Uh, even Gamers Nexus mentioned Molex really depends on the pin out because you, you can't verify every pin out, the individual four pins on the Molex. But Molex or six pin if possible, uh, not always SATA. But then again, some people in the mining community would be like, yeah, SATA's fine. So I would say try to six pin everything if you can. If you need to, go ahead and grab yourself two power supplies if you can find it for cheap. Uh, but I'm just trying to save you some money. So one 850 gig, I actually found a thousand watt, but this one has enough six pins that we need to get the job done. So again, all the parts gonna be li uh, linked down in the description below. Um, it's kind of ironic that we're looking at the 1066 gig again, uh, being that it's so old, but even Hashraptor is like, this is what it come, uh, has come to. And he's got the, the 710. The interesting thing I told him is that you can actually SLI these things. Uh, but for mining, I mean, even if you have a 700 series, you technically could still mine on it. You may not be able to mine Ethereum, but there are other individual projects that you can look at. So right now we got to pick out a rig. And believe it or not, this guy is coming back. I can't verify this distributor, Bevkova. Bevkova? I don't I don't know who that is. But 30 bucks for a six GPU rig is not bad. Of course, when we look at other places online, they get a little bit expensive. Or you can build your own and save the money. Uh, you know, go to Home Depot, spend about 30, maybe 30, 40 bucks, um, and that will fit right in line. Uh, this one, again, I can't validate. Um, so now that we got everything pretty much good to go, the last little bit that I want to talk about is the splitters or connections. Um, Parallel Miner's got all the connections you can use, um, cables, stuff like that. You could get the six pin to triple eight pin um, or just a six pin to dual eight pin. Uh, but all the connections and everything are right here. Uh, additionally, if you go to Amazon, the one that I picked up was the endless six pin to uh, dual eight pin. I'm using that on a number of cards, but not every single one of my cards. So just bear that in mind. And then looking at Ethereum, what is the profitability right now? Well, the profitability is meh. So I'm going to even it out. Here's the total hardware cost of everything. 29.6994. Let's just say 3,000. Uh, we got 10 cent per kilowatt hour, 1% fees. Power draw uh, is calculated about 540. So let's go ahead and uh, bump that up to include, you know, Pretty much everything, the motherboard stuff like that. So let's say uh, six, six ten. Calculate, 
and it's not actually not bad, at least right now at time of filming. The ROI is 289 days, so that's under 300 days to ROI, and you're gonna be averaging around $10 a day, plus or minus a few percentage, obviously be depending on the profitability, because this is looking at mining Ethereum. When Ethereum goes away, what else will there be? Well, let's see what happens. Let's go to whattomine.com, and of course, there's gonna always be other projects to mine, so I'm not sure why everybody keeps saying, you know, uh, mining will be dead because there's always other projects to mine. And even if you mine swap, that's around $10 a day with six 1060s, bit two cash, 10 ergo, and these guys swap out, Fero. So there's going to be other projects in which you can continue to make the profits that you need to either recoup your investment or to uh, have a nice, you know, fat wallet, so to speak. Uh, but mining is hard right now. Prices are absolutely ridiculous. Uh, 1660s are going for $700 plus. If you can get these cards for near MSRP to 1660 Ti or Super, I would say go for it. But right now, the build of this month is the 1066 gig making a comeback and still in the profitability range. Again, everything is going to be linked down in the description below. Do me a favor, guys. Please leave your comments, your thoughts your insight, and any additional information that may help out other miners in the community space down in the comments below. If you see any scammers uh, trying to be me, ignore them, report them. I greatly appreciate all the support, all your help. Hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.